Hello, everyone. <laughs> so this is an interesting time that I'm having. <laughs> My uh, first full day in uh, 5D. I think some of you might have noticed my post at six o'clock sharp. I was on Facebook Live, except for I forgot to put the live streaming video event to on. So I did 35 minutes of this wonderful presentation for all of you. <laughs> anyway, I got some interesting texts from people like, where are you? Where are you? <laughs> Uh, that was after I realized I had made a mistake because I went to end the video and it was not, there was no ending because I hadn't started it. So please forgive me. My uh, 5D brain is needing to learn how to connect back to 3D reality and uh, remember that there are technical things we have to take care of. So welcome everybody. My name is Rajit, if you don't remember. Um, I'm with One Illumined Heart. I have that as a Facebook page, as well as my YouTube channel, One Illumined Heart. So the good news is we've been doing this 5D gate journey. And uh, my guides told me that yesterday at five o'clock, I was um, already fully, I'm sorry, I'm fidgety because I've already sat for an hour, for, we have 30 minutes. Um, I, I was fully in, like my, because my body had already been calibrated organs and glands since the end of January. So by the end of, I think it was by, well, they're saying the fourth week of May, I was done. So, uh, with, with the calibration. So it was easy for me to slide on in. And most people in my group have slid in a few people, or maybe a little bit, a little bit longer. So I'll explain more about how that's going to work. Um, <clears throat> so today we're going to talk about um, what the spiritual and crystal body frequencies are. And I didn't know until today that your crystal body frequency can go backwards um, by eating, um, eating uh, too many flesh foods or changing your diet from vegetarian to flesh foods or adding more of them to your diet as well as the uh, uh, impact of alcohol intake. So we're going to talk about that and then also offer you uh, some light language uh, that will open up your um, chakras uh, and, and connect your hip joints, your knees, and your ankles, which are symbolic of the first physical chakras, which is your hip joints, the first through six. And then uh, uh, just above the knees and to right below the knees is your astral. And then uh, from below the knees to the ankles, including the ankles, uh, are the causal plane uh, frequencies. So the astral is from um, 7 to 12, and causal plane is 13 to 17, at least in the system that I work in. It might be different in other systems, so I apologize if I'm confusing anybody. Um, I can just tell you how it is that I work. Um, okay, let's see here. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out, yeah, they're, they're giving me messages again that I don't know what to do with, so. Okay, so here we go. Um, I've been talking to many people in my group who've been getting back to me about how they've been feeling, what they've been experiencing. Um, I think a lot of people, including myself, expected way more bells and whistles, but um, it's been an interesting journey. The months, the six months leading up Five, five months, I guess, end of January to now, and I guess that would be five months, uh, has been arduous. And the one thing I noticed yesterday, which was really exciting, um, was with the, you know, even though I was looking straight ahead, I could feel myself being pulled off to one side and felt a lot of movement in, in you know, around me and going through me. So that is part of it. And and uh, the dizziness and the feeling a little bit of off balance often for a few days has been interesting. So, well, I got cabin fever yesterday and after I did my live yesterday with all of you, I decided I would connect with my grandchild who was getting off work a little after eight and, and we would all have uh, share some dinner together, which we did. And the one beautiful thing that I noticed and I was so excited about 
was that I did not have, for the first time, that fiery pain down my bones, my long bones of my legs, uh, my femur, my fibia, and tibia that, oh, sometimes, and, and my knees that would just be killing me uh, and feeling like if I stood on them that they would just snap because they, they felt like they were like brittle bones, but they weren't, but it felt like that because they were so hot. So I just want to let you know that that is gone today. And so the only thing that I have today with my legs, just for my personal sharing with you, so you know that different things happen to people's bodies during this process, is that um, there is a vibration. Now, all of us, when we get our up leveling, you will notice that you'll get vibrations running through you. And when you've got past lives that haven't been cleared out, curses, unforgiveness, or uh, ancestral memory that hasn't quite cleared out, when that vibration and that light starts moving through you, it is painful because it literally has to push through that darkness to help you release it with as much love and light and forgiveness, etc., as possible. So that has been super intense for me, a good, a good year and a half. The, the previous year was also challenging with that kind of thing, but it was really bad the last year and a half. So just know that that is part of your reality, that that is what will happen. But now that I'm in 5D today, my body feels a little achy, but nothing like it was before. And walking has been, my legs are still weak and a little funky, but they are not in screaming pain because I always had like a residual pain of at least a four or five. And most of the time my pain levels were like between an eight and a 12. I mean, literally over a 10 and that would put me in bed. Uh, so I just want to let you know, there's lovely positive changes here happening. And what I was told by my guides that the next three months are going to be really exciting. So staying in that joy filled and grateful place, um, because there are a lot of body changes that are going to happen for me and for everybody else who's on this little journey. And so I do want to remind you of what I shared yesterday. And that is that as this, uh, for the 1 billion, 357 million plus people that are going through this first gateway, this first gate lock shift up, um, that some of us, about a billion of us are making it through this first few days, like the first five days. So from the 25th to the 30th, most people are moving through that period of time. There are some people who need a little bit more spiritual frequency or a little bit more crystal body, or they have to align their emotional. Some people, their emotional body needs to be aligned up with this process. And so some people are not going until a little bit later. I was talking to one person who has for children and a hubby, and all of the, the children and the hubby are going all within a week of each other, but that's not going to start until, um, I think like it was like the third week of July. And I know that there's a, uh, one of my family members is going this second week of July. Um, two other ones are going to be going the first week of August. Um, we have through the first week of September. so. Um, I don't know about the other family member. There's one family member that may not be able to go until November. They have to do some, some work to get ready to go. So anyway, so just know that there, this gateway does not mean it's just this week. Um, there is this whole period of time through the end of August for people to get their uh, spiritual frequency to the right level or their crystal body up a little bit higher or align their emotional body with this shift and it will take a little bit of time. So be with there. And, and, and I, I want you to know that lots of people have been telling me who are maybe not quite making it through this front end of this right away, maybe a little bit later, they're having extreme body pains the last few weeks. Uh, and mine was pretty extreme for about five months, as I said. So um, people are doing this at a different rhythm and a different time and it's all perfect for that person. There is no good, no bad, no better, you know, no less than. It's you're doing it in your timing. And if you're listening to this and you don't get to move on into that journey until November, it's because you probably have some spiritual getting ready to do or crystal bodies to make. And that cha requires change of diet, requires taking in some silica, 
um, and just really moving your alignment around so that you're going in, in the direction of love. So remember, 5D is about being in a place of loving alignment and ahimsa, A-H-I-M-S-A. It's a Sanskrit or Hindi word for non-violence. So it's the path of love and non-violence. So it's about us not hurting ourselves. It's about us not hurting other human beings as much as we possibly can. Uh, in the moment, we have egos and minds that are all need, need healing and working. So you do the best that you can. And also it's about non-violence in your food, what you're putting in your body, non-violence to killing animals, uh, to abusing and or using them in, improperly. Uh, it's, it's about non-violence to Mother Earth. So it's about all of that is, is that energy that 5D is holding. So for many of us, the, the psyche has to move along with that, okay? Um, so again, uh, it will take two weeks to do this process. The first um, eight, nine days are pretty intense and the energy is pretty intense as it's coming in. The meditations are much more intense than they were before for me. And some other people have also shared that, but they also are sharing that there's more a feeling of a greater, like even though you might be having an emotional upset, there's still this core of energy that feels more positive, more hopeful, more at peace, stronger in the core of your essence, which is really, really important at this particular time. Um, so that's really wonderful. Now let's talk about those frequencies because several people have emailed me and said, I don't understand what you're talking about when you're talking about spiritual frequency and crystal frequency. So I thought it's a perfect subject for today before we do our light language. So we are going to do light language, which will open things up. So I just want you to just hang in there for that because I think it's going to be really sweet. Um, <clears throat> well, actually, the, uh, in my previous hour, <laughs> that didn't get recorded. It was beautiful. It had me in tears. So ho hopefully I won't be able to have to cry this time. But um, anyway, let's talk about the frequencies. So... Um, when we started this journey in April of 2020, I was told at that time, and it's in my earlier videos, that the majority of the planet, 65 to 68% of people, were between the frequency of a 5.0 and a 7.0, if, if we're measuring, okay? Um, they're all still children of the divine, no matter, no matter what. Some people are um, young, young souls in the body. Some people are older souls in the body, have been lots, around lots of times, hanging out of the dark stuff, hanging out of their mind, hanging out of their ego, you know, hanging on the need to have greed and power over others and whatever kind of other abusive behavior and principles that they might have. So that's, and people are really stuck in the material realm. That's like the majority of people of the eight, uh, eight plus billion people that we have on the planet. Now, some of those numbers have changed in the last two years, so we're going, we've gone from 65 to 68%, down to 62%. So we're making, we've pulled some people into the light. Woo! Oh, yay for us, setting an example. And, and, and literally, this is, you know, when you hold love and light, it's like a magnetic energy that can move us all forward. Just like, you know, remember uh, different wars, like the war that's going on now, um, negativity, and brainwashing and this energy, you know, darkness, 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 people can fall into that and give their power away to that. Well, do you want to give your power away to the darkness? Or do you want to give your power away to the light? What do you want to do? You get your choice. Okay, so um, we talked also about the need to begin building your crystal body, which is what had to happen after April uh, 25th, 2020. You had to be a level 10. So for some people in my group, we had, they were like nines or eight and a half, I think was the lower, lowest we had. Um, had to work up toward getting up to a 10 so that they could begin building that crystal body. And each layer does take two to two and a half months to build depending on a person's diet. Um, <clears throat> so um, Getting people up to that level is important. Now, people who are under that level but are holding love and light, they're still going to be dragged up, but they still have to build that crystal body. And I don't know what to, how the divine is going to make this all happen. That's not my job. My job is to just share what I'm being asked to share with you so that those of you who are ready to take accountability, personal responsibility 
for whether or not you go onto the 5D path or whether you want to proceed and participate in the dissolution of 3D. It's a soul choice. And some of us need to have that as lessons and that's okay. It's all about love. It's all about learning and it's all about lifting us up to a greater awareness at some point in, in our in our time. Okay. Um, so at level 10, it's a higher level of spirituality. It's a level where you become more, much more aware of your heart and much more aware of the consequences of what you say and what you do and how that energy comes back to you. So that old thing of, you know, what goes around comes around or karma <laughs> um, and, and or choosing to be a blessing. I mean, whatever we put out there is going to come back to us. So that when people become a level 10, they really become more and more aware of that as well as they become more in touch with their own hearts. It's like they begin to like feel and hear their inner self a little bit more. They're able to connect a little bit more with all of that. So, which is enormously exciting. So I think if every one of us could every day take a breath and connect with our body, connect with our soul, connect with our heart, and, and choose that alignment in, in as much love as we can, because that brings greater compassion forward for yourself and for others. It brings greater levels of patience forward for yourself and for others and greater levels of forgiveness. So I want to remind you that on my, um, I, I posted all these videos on YouTube and a few days ago when I did one on, when I mentioned that I would have links to forgiveness. So I have a link to uh, the uh, self-help Ho'oponopono, um, as well as the links to my YouTube forgiveness um, series that I did, as well as um, EFT, the Emotional Freedom Tapping Technique. Uh, that is also a, a link there. Okay. So, and that will help you self-soothe. It can help realign you. And I'm just going to give you... Um, no, I, I don't be too much of a divergence. Never mind. I will tell you that later. So let's stay focused on these frequencies. So the spiritual frequencies before, um, what's it, before December? No, before you ent able to enter 5D, which was, yeah, that was in December, um, could not go higher than a spiritual level of up to 14.9. Well, now that 5D is fully in place, the spiritual level, I don't know how high the spiritual level can go. I do know that uh, several people in the group that I've been, that we've been kind of shepherding one another together, sharing love and community, that many of them are, <clears throat> one of them is a 16-2, another one is 16-1. One. Um, one person I think is a 16-5, so they've gone way up there. And many of them are between 13 and high levels of 15. And there's about 45, 50 people in our total group. Um, <clears throat> so there's a lot of people who've done a lot of work on themselves in the last two and a half, well, two years and a couple of months to get exactly where they are. It's not been laying back and doing nothing, expecting the universe to do it for you. So that's been very exciting to watch their growth and their evolution and how much they're unfolding and how much more open they are uh, to receiving and accepting one another and even themselves. So that's all part of growth. That's all part of living in joy. Okay. So um, <clears throat> that's, you know, that, that's the spiritual frequency. The crystal bodies have to do with uh, how many layers of crystal body you've achieved. So, as I said, you couldn't start building them until April of 2020. And I'm trying to remember, I think I've got my level. I'm, I'm in my, working on my, I'm above 14 levels right now, working on my 15th layer. So remember, all of us have to go to 24 layers. It's work, we can't go backwards and forwards. All right, um, <clears throat> and you need at least three levels to get in 
to a 5D. So people need to do some work on that. We have a good, you know, six, seven months left to help people up into um, that, that higher frequency. So uh, do whatever you need to do to get that work done. Uh, find out about what diet you need to be on and start shifting it so that you, your body can align with the, this frequency of, of ahimsa, which is nonviolence. So in the transition diet, some people will need to eat a little bit of meat, get it down as much as you can and shift to fish as soon as you can. And I'm going to tell you why right now. So today I had three examples of people who contact, well, there were more than that, but some people wanted to know what their crystal body frequency was. And I kind of said to a couple of people, well, it doesn't really matter because you're moving forward. Um, anyway, you've got, you know, over eight layers, blah, 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 blah. Well, um, one, of the, one of the people insisted, then the other person insisted. They really did want to know. Um, and one of the person had drastically shifted the, their diet. And, the, uh, and another person wasn't talking to me, but his spouse was, and um, was concerned about his frequency going down because he's re-added eating more meat to his diet. So one of the people that I checked today had, I think, an over level 10 crystal body in December, and now it was an eight something. And I was like, well, I didn't know that hers was 10. I mean, she remembered the numbers and got back to me. And I thought, I must be reading this wrong. And I, I apologize. I said, probably something wrong with my calibration and reading right now because, you know, we're in this shift. And I said the same thing to the other person that had a lower number. But then when the third person came along and she asked the question, is it possible to have your crystal body frequency go down? because of diet or other changes that you might be having and what you're taking into your body. And I said, I don't think so. But then I knew better than to just assume <laughs> because up there, my guides, they all know better than I do, right? Just a second, I need some water. So basically, um, <clears throat> what they said was, yes, it can have an impact. So I want you to know that what they said was alcohol having regular alcohol can have an impact depending on how much you have between 10 and uh, 20 percent mostly 10 to 15 but if you're a heavy drinker up to 20 percent it can peel away your crystal body level and I'm not sure why but it, apparently it does so then the other was Fish only, only, you know, if you're doing your spiritual work, you're always going to be, a, you're always making it above that 3%. But fish can have a negative impact up to 3% in terms of the pace that you move forward. But if you, or let's say you were pretty much vegetarian and uh, just doing dairy and the vegetable kingdom, not seeds, you know, the plants, fruits, all that stuff, and you started adding um, animal meat like, um, pigs, cow, goat, lamb, back into your diet more than twice a week. Um, even twice a week has a little bit of an impact, but more than twice a week. It can have a negative impact on your crystal body between, um, yeah, about 15, 16% up to 25%. So apparently it can cut you back down and you do that long enough, you can drop a few layers. So but these people are still high enough they're still moving forward but it was a shock to me and a shock to them when i had to tell them that yes this is possible that this can go bad so alcohol and that can can affect you fish is okay for those of you who can tolerate fish um eggs can negatively impact ultimately as well um and so be careful what you're eating. Take responsibility for where you want to go and what you want to do. And um, moving toward Ahimsa in 5D is very important because that's the alignment to love. End of story. That's what they're telling me. So um, once you get onto that track, it's really important to, to, uh, to, stay, to stay on it so you can sustain it. 
we don't want people to go back on their crystal body because it does take two to two and a half months. So the longer you wait, the longer it'll take for your body to get to 24 levels. Now, the exciting thing that they're telling me is that within, as I said earlier, within three months, the body starts changing. We're oscillating our, our cells at a different frequency, so things are gonna be shifting. And they said that by the time we get to eight, uh, levels, you know, eight, oh, I'm showing me the number 18, 18 to 24 is when major physical body changes will occur. So like if you're missing teeth, that the teeth will start regrowing, um, organs and glands will start re healing at really high levels. And so you, you want to be able to do this so that you can live in optimal health and, and have that, those 24 layers of crystal body. And one of the things we talked about yesterday was that as we grow in those crystal body levels and move into that fine attunement with 5D, our bodies will actually start to glow. And I don't know who will end up seeing it, but it, that's what I keep being told and keep being shown, that that's what's going to happen. All right, building your crystal body and staying in joy you do it with deep gratitude for everything, everything that you are, everything that you have. Blessing your food, right? Being grateful um, for who has brought you your food, who has grown it. Um, Mother Earth, her, the soil, the sun, the wind, the rain, all that takes part in that. I've, I've said this prayer for a long time, being in gratitude. Um, then the other thing is growing your spirituality with doing your own kind of spiritual or devotional practices, whether it's silent meditation or a blend of silent meditation and chanting or some silent meditation and movement meditation, Tai Chi, yoga, different martial arts have different movements. Um, uh, you know, chanting and singing to the divine, selfless service to Mother Earth herself, you know, doing things for the for the planet, selfless service for other human beings, giving your time, your love, your money, sharing. That's all how we how we build. Um, wherever it is we do some self sacrifice, as the gurus always say, it never hurts to to give because it is a bonus in your court when you do. But that should not be the reason that you're doing it. It should be because it's really coming from your heart to do this. So moving again, 5D is moving into your heart, learning to live in a place of love and of joy and of gratitude, right? So I know for me, I'm feeling a lot more hopeful on the inside. Um, and even as I'm sitting here, I'm, I'm feeling like, okay, there's my body that's on the chair and the rest of me is like a pyre. Oh, it's yeah, real, really being aware of my multi-dimensional self. And I think all of us who are in this journey are, are doing that. Um, uh, let's see here. So as I said, people will be in this first gate, will be going from June 25th to the end of August. It takes two weeks, so the first eight, nine days is intense. The last seven days or so is at a 20, 25% level of that first level of intensity. And then the healing starts and the integrating starts um, on a deeper and deeper level every day that we're in this frequency. So right now it's our embodiments in our minds acclimating to this new frequency. And because I made that huge mistake of like doing a Facebook Live, forgetting to put the live video on. It, I mean, it just says that, that that 5D, 3D separation is a very real thing. So I'm gonna to have to be very conscious of when I'm working in the 3D world that I can connect to it in, 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 in the same way or in a, in, a, in a more aware way maybe, but make sure that I do connect to what needs to be done in 3D to, you know, as, as we move into 5D, the 3D reality will fall away at some point. And it, uh, my, I was told that 3D would be in full dissolution by December of 2023. So 
it's not going to be much longer, another year and a half. Um, so choose, where do you, you want to be? In 5D, alive and well and moving forward? Or what? You get to choose, it's your life. No judgment, it's because we're all here for different lessons. Okay, now, I think we're ready. Um, oh, I just want to mention again, somebody asked me, uh, what kind of chanting that they should do or what solfeggio frequencies that they should listen to. And there isn't any should. It's um, really what aligns with your heart and your soul history sometimes. Like when sometimes when people come into me and they've been raised Christian, and I say, there are beautiful places in the Bible that you can use um, to do your prayers with, or things that you love that are favorites. Um, um, but if, if you're wanting to clear something more quickly, I said, I don't know the Bible well enough. Uh, I was raised Christian, but I don't know the ins and out of the Bible well enough to know if there's any phrases that can start moving karmic energy. And often that's what they need to do to balance old unforgivenesses, etc. So sometimes if somebody has a history with being Buddhist, they'll be given a lovely Buddhist prayer or a Hindu prayer or a Sufi or Muslim prayer or a Jewish prayer. Um, to, to do their work uh, and we try to find something that aligns with them that they would enjoy doing and some people are blending their current spiritual life practices with something like this so there isn't any right or wrong there's just you find your way that works for you and um, if there's any way that I can be of assistance to you in doing that I'm happy to do that um, feel free to contact me either through Facebook Messenger or leave a message on my YouTube channel or info at oneillumineheart.com and one is O-N-E and illumined I-L-L-U-M-I-N-E-D heart H-E-A-R-T dot com okay so now it's time to do the light language and the, oh, the last session was really powerful so I, I'm not sure exactly what's going to come up now I will take a swig of my water again. And it would be really good for all of you to, to, to tune in by taking some deep breaths in. And let's give all of us permission to our higher self to come join us in the body more. To welcome it and say thank you. Give permission for Source, God, Divine, whatever you want to call it to fully connect with you and love you and support you in me and giving this to you and you in receiving it at the highest level that your system can receive it. And this is about connecting and opening up the hip joint, the legs, the knee area and the ankles, the lower legs and ankles to connect up the lower body connection to the upper body and the higher chakras and they're going to give us light codes in the sounds to do that opening so let's also give permission now for our angels to wrap around us with love and tenderness and to hold us And they're asking that everyone breathe the color peach, which is a shade in that second chakra that brings greater joy. So give permission for that lovely shades of peach to move into your energy field. Welcome it with gratitude to bring more joy into your second chakra and to connect that second chakra to your first, second, third, fourth, and fifth chakras, your throat chakra. So that your body system can have more joy. Good. We'll invite the highest frequency of the divine royal blue light into our energy fields to guide us, to make us open, receptive, and resilient. Whew. 
you and I are the I am of the divine, the I am of God, the I am of the creator, the I am of source. Own it, let it resonate within you. And for those of you who don't align with deity, that's fine. You are the I am of the force of Mother Nature that you're connected to. Do what works for you. No judgment, no right, no wrong. as we choose to meet in a field of love. Okay, I'm gonna not focus on you now. I'm gonna focus on aligning myself to the divine within me and allowing this blessing of this opening of the lower chakras to occur for you and for me at whatever levels we're supposed to receive it. Connecting to your heart. For some of you, holding your heart area might be helpful. Connecting your heart to your third eye. And your third eye to your pineal gland at the top of your head. Oto Ata Keo Ata I Otomana Ata I Ata Keo Omoto Asu Tea Etuasa Omonoai Otu Ata Oso Kaya Amano Soai Otu Amadataka Atasa Omonoai To O Kea a mono atu pata i oso. Eo o mono asa i o tu. Kea a meo o ati oso ata a. Kea o mono ata. Kea o mono ati e tu asa o mono a. Ata kaya o mono a tata. ACO, Amana Soa Yo Tutu Atataya. Kea Omo so Atata Kaye, Mono no Ata Yi Ata O Sumano Kawayo Tu. Etu Amana Kaya Potoa, Metuasa Tai, Potoa Mana Asai, O Tu Amana Kayo Potomono Atasi E. E. Tu Asa A Mana Teo Amata Kaya. Also, al i o tu aya. Also, amana. Tato amana i o so. Aya sa i mono amana. Ata, ata. Eso o mono to a i o tu. Ata ke yo o mono a. Asa i o mono a i. Itu. Ata yo o mono. Ata saya. O tu amana. O tu a. Ko a i. Itu. Amana, keo, ata, oso, atai, otu, aya. Emo, atai e se u, 
atakayao mana watahi e watakai e koto soa tatai e o e o amana tatai e o pea amana to o hmm. esaya esaya o pea amana a Sa i o pata, e se i o pama, kaya o mono wa sa i, ata, tua, tua. So, kaya mono ata isi, kaya o 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 mono ata isi. Omo ata sa i. Taia. Kaya e mono. E tu asa a. Amanai o kaya to. Ea o mono. Peo o asi. A te omono, a te keo amana io, a tu, a tu, a ta, o 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 tu. Sai. Kaya o mono, asa i o mono, ata, ata i o mono, kaya i o mono, ata. Kaya i mano i o ata, a. Kaya i mano i o ata, a. Kaya i mano i o ata, a. Fu, te o, mana, soto, ati, ke o papa, soto, a, fu. E yo koyo o mono asa i. Ke o omono, kaya omono soai. Ke o omono, kaya oso ai. Atia, 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 atia. Oso anana. Ati eo amana otu ati aya osoa amana i atai otu asa May the divine love of the divine of God within you our source. Who is willing to light your path, allow yourself to be lit, to become alive, to become born again in the light of the divine's love for you and within you, the recognition of who you are. This is an auspicious time, an auspicious journey that we are beginning. Moving into the higher frequency of a human, creating literally a new human path, a higher frequency of love, with a commitment to nonviolence, to working together for the greater good of all, for recognizing the light and the love and the beauty in each human being. And for those who have forgotten, we are reminded that we know who we are. We know who they are. 
If they have forgotten, it is our job to remember. Some days that may be tough, but everyone is on the path of growing into greater light at some point in their growth of evolution on the planet, on this planet, on other planets, wherever. We are not to judge. It's the hardest thing for us to do. Let's move things toward a greater choice of love. Find solutions that are based on love and, the, and what is good for all, or as many as possible. Get others to work with their hearts for that same goal. I'm gonna ask if there's any message that needs to go with this light language. The only thing they're saying is for you to remember that you are the expression of the divine in the body. At whatever level that you can move forward and hold that spiritual frequency of that divine, wherever you are right now is perfect. If it needs up leveling and improvement, we're on our road to go do that. And you can do it with wild abandon and you can do it with reservation. It doesn't matter. You do you, your way, and your time. It's all good. Right now, we are in a little bit of a time crunch because the last gate is at the end of January and that will go through, oh, let's see, I think the process that people can move through is through March, I believe, through the end of March. So we have time to help our brothers and sisters awaken to the beauty of who they are and their possibility in a new life based on love. I hope these codes are supportive for you. Just give permission to be supportive, to let them be supportive for you. You can listen to them over and over. I will mark on the YouTube video when this goes up exactly where the light language starts. So if you just want to go back to that point, you can do that. You don't have to listen to the whole thing again. All right. As we say before, namaste. We are one. I recognize the God in you. And I thank you for recognizing the God in me. And so take care. God bless. This is Rajit signing off. Bye-bye. And I might end the video this time because I actually did live. <laughs>